Alright guys, the dragon here is completely baked. I allowed it to sit for an entire day before really messing with it. And I want to point out a few things about it. But first I'm going to explain how I bake this. I set the timer for 30 minutes on the oven. And I put the temperature at about 260 degrees, which is just a little lower than what it calls for. It's, it doesn't hurt to go a little lower and bake a little longer if you're not sure. I baked it for 25 of the 30 minutes at 260 degrees and um, the last 5 minutes basically what I did is I turned the oven off but I didn't open the door and I let it go for another 7 minutes. So basically 25 minutes at 260 degrees and 7 minutes standing. Once the 7 minutes was over I cracked the oven open and I let all the excessive heat out. But I just let it sit there for a few hours because when it comes out of the oven, it's real hot. It's real brittle. It don't gain its strength until it completely cools. The center uh, of the eyebrows of the center head looks a bit charred. And I took a razor blade and I scraped one area. It's actually cooked that color all the way through. And this was actually the highest point of the sculpture, which I only had like this much area left at the top of the oven. So what I'm guessing is the metal at the top of the oven was reflecting heat. And plus heat rises so it's the hottest part of the oven. The wings got a little darker because they're thinner. Once again, thin areas go really quick. They cook really fast. Thicker areas take longer. So it's kind of complicated when you have different thicknesses going on here. Just wanted to show you that I'm going to be painting this using acrylic paints. I'll show you guys in time lapse me painting this. A lot of you guys have been requesting for me to make a video showing me painting something. I thought this wouldn't be too much trouble to do that so I put a video together for you. What I'm doing here in this video I'm using the two main colors of the sculpture which will be metallic amethyst and metallic blue pearl. Now I'm only putting a single coat on here and I was a little nervous about that because it was going on rather splotchy and I was kind of worried that it wouldn't co cover very well after the second coat but it did. Um, I only put a single coat on in this video that you're seeing but as of right now the sculpture is completely painted and I'm not going to be shellacking it. You're not going to see it in this video because I don't want to give away the final reveal this is very very nice looking and I really want y'all to see it without it being spoiled but um, I'm not the very best painter out there so what I like to do is use the basic shapes and designs of how I sculpt because I do I sculpt very basic it's very plain but using these you know simple shapes and stuff you can create something that has a lot of interest So what I like to do is, I like to two-tone things. And right now I'm doing all the, the um, amethyst or the purple. And everything in this video took three hours and 20 minutes of painting. Just to get the first coat done, it was about five hours. And I'm guessing it was around eight hours, seven, eight hours to paint this entire thing which is insane that's a whole lot of painting uh, but it's it was well worth it because after it after it's all said and done it's just amazing when this sculpture turns it throws off light and it shimmers and I'm noticing that some of this blue reflects onto the purple in different areas and I just I'm so happy with how this turned out um, I had asked in my previous video, I, I had two color choices I wanted to choose from, that little kitty video. And every one of you said, do the metallics, do the metallics. So I'd really like to thank you for that because um, had I not had that advice, I would have just painted it green again. You know me, I'll paint everything green. It's my favorite color. But by taking a chance and you know doing something a little different than what I'm used to, uh, I wound up getting something rather unique here and I can't even believe this is mine. 
it's really, really weird. And the same thing goes for this entire series. Uh, I, I changed, I made so many changes that were like outside of my comfort zone. Someone suggested three heads and I was at that stage of the process where I could easily make those changes. So I was like, go ahead, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make this, I'm going to attempt to do this. And I was intimidated a lot here and there by it like with the feet, I didn't know what I should do. It was just a lot of wandering and not knowing, but just one little step at a time. Every little piece I finished, I was like, oh, okay, that wasn't that bad. And it literally is the first full figure sculpture I've done. What I'm doing here is I used a pencil and I mimicked the outer design and drew it onto the the wing about halfway in so I could continue my two-tone feature here using the blue and purple I think it adds a lot of interest and it looks really really good so one thing you don't see in this video is the underside of the wing is all blue the entire side of it the underside of the belly is blue that's pretty much it uh, this was really really crazy it took a long time to paint this and I do appreciate you guys for being so patient and watching this. It means a lot. Uh, it won't be long and I'll be uploading the final reveal. I do hope you check that out. It's going to be really, really awesome. And until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you here again soon.